Let me catch my breath. <laughs> well, hello, everyone. And welcome to tonight's All Souls Chapel service. All right. I'm happy to see each and every one of you, and I'm so glad you chose to come out tonight. No matter where you may be in your journey, and no matter what you may be going through today, um, I hope that you came with an open heart, an open spirit, and an open mind so that we may all connect and embrace the experience together. Now please join me in saying our covenant. Love is the spirit of this church and service is this law. This is our great covenant, to dwell together in peace, to seek the truth in love, and to help one another. A song called I Am Light. Very simple song. And I'd like for you to sing that those I Am Light those words with me go simply like this I am light I am light you try it with me I am light I am light that's great once again I am light I am light Um, tonight I'm going to share a reading that comes from the book called From Sp um, Spilling the Light, Meditations on Hope and Resilience. The name of this is called Bring Your Broken Hallelujah Here. Bring your broken hallelujah here. Bring the large one that is beyond repair. Bring the small one that's too soft to share. Bring your broken hallelujah here. I know that people have told you that before you can give, you have to get yourself together. They overstated the value of perfection by a lot, or they forgot. You are the gift. We all bring some broken things, songs, and dreams, and long lost hopes. But here together, we reach within as a community we begin again. And from the pieces, we will build something new. There was work that only you can do. We wait for you. And then I'm gonna say a short prayer. <sighs> Dear God, our great divine, we thank you for this day. We thank you for every person sitting in this chapel and we ask that you open our hearts, that you surround us with your presence, that you share your light with us and allow us to share our light with others, knowing that we don't have to be perfect and that yes, we are 
broken in some ways, but we are still powerful enough to band together and share as a community. Amen. Tonight's message that um, I'm going to share with you all is called The Power to Be the Light of Change. I started working on this a couple of weeks ago and had all these thoughts and ideas that I wanted to share with you all. But then the news happened and we started to hear the stories of all the tragedies that took place and the shooting at the school and other acts of gun violence. And I started to question as to whether or not what I had planned to share was gonna be fitting or too, um, I don't know, too cookie cutter. Um, but then I did the thing that um, I knew to do and that was to pray. Because I don't know about you, but I started to feel an overwhelming sense of helplessness because I wanted so desperately to help those who had been hurt and um, to take away the pain of the families um, that would be experiencing this ongoing grief and um, pain and devastation. And so it started to feel really big in what I found and what came to me as I was praying was that just for today is what came. And what that means is I want to try to do what I can do just for today because when you try to take it all in and when you try to do the um, fix the whole big problem that really is way too big for me to take on and fix all by myself. But um, I started to just understand it. What can I do today to help? And maybe I can't even reach out to those families that we're hearing about in the news, but what can I do here in my um, community that's around me? What can I do for those that I encounter? Because every person we encounter uh, matters. There is no too small or too big encounter. They all matter. and so. Just for today, how can I shine my light? So I want to talk to you mainly today about sharing your light. And you may be someone that starts, has been feeling like there's not much you can do, or um, maybe you can't help in the way that you used to help others. But I want, and maybe you even feel like your light is a bit of a flicker. But I want to say to you that that's not so, because we don't lose the light. Our great divine presence has placed a light in us that is so powerful that we can illuminate a city, just you all by yourself. You are just that powerful. And no matter what we may be going through ourselves, we still have the power to help someone else. Even if it's just a smile, even if it's just a, a hug for someone who needs a hug, even if it's someone who needs a listening ear, um, our light can still shine just as bright and guide that person and um, allow them to hear us. And I brought, I meant to bring this up here, I'm going to grab my lantern real quick. I'm one of those literal people who, um, when I'm thinking ideas and I'm wanting to uh, see an example, it needs to be something in the physical. So I brought this lantern. And I think of myself as, as I'm sharing the light that has been placed in me to share with others and make a change in the world or in their world, um, 
I see myself as this, doing this, with this light. And I'm saying to you, I'm going to them and I'm sharing my battle scars, I'm sharing my wisdom and my knowledge that I've gotten from living life and from going through some things saying, I know you're hurting, I know you are afraid, and I know you can't see your way clear right now, but take my hand and follow me. I know the way because I've been here before. How many of you have been in, your dark, in a dark place in what I call the trenches? and you didn't know how you were going to get out. You couldn't see your way how to walk forward even because it was so painful, it was so devastating, and you thought that the world was over. But somehow, someone reached out to you and gave a phone call to check on you, to say, hey, I just called to see how you're doing. And you thought, someone thought of me, thought enough of me to call me and say, see how I was doing. Well, that made a difference, right? What about that person that um, stopped by and said, hey, I don't care how upset you are, I don't care what you're going through, you're gonna leave today, we're gonna get out of this house. Put some clothes on, take a bath, right? That's someone shining their light in your life. And so now we have the ability to share our light, our light for someone else that needs it. Now I know we are in All Souls and All Souls is good at doing um, um, social justice and all of that. But I'm more so talking about matters of the heart and the internal journey that we go through sometimes and we isolate ourselves and we end up being alone. Um, and when really if we would open ourselves up, we know that we need someone else to come step in and give us uh, encouragement. While at the same time, we too can give encouragement. So I'm gonna to go to, through these brief um, re loving reminders. So today is not me telling you something new, it's just me sharing something that we all already know, but I want it to be a consistent reminder, okay? And one is know the value and the power of your light because we see others using their power for hate and they've made a horrible impact on people's lives. And we're all hurting because of it. But we choose to use ours for good. We choose to use it to lift someone up and to um, be a blessing. As Marlon always tells us, go and be a blessing. That's what we're able to do with our light. And we are able to change someone's life. We are able to change someone's thinking. We are able to change someone's heart. And most importantly, what I forgot to also say was that don't forget that you have the power to walk in any room, in any space and environment and shift the atmosphere with your positive energy and your positive attitude and then seek the change, to create change. Um, and so um, the other one is be the peace that calms the storm and bring the salve of love to heal or comfort someone just for today. When we try to take too much on, then we end up um, being overwhelmed. So just for today, be that peace and um, bring the, the healing that you can. Remember that we, excuse me, remember that we are not here just to serve ourselves. We are here to help one another as our covenant tells us. And so um, that is what we should be seeking to do daily. Um, and as I've talked about, you're using your light to guide someone through the trenches. Um, when you see them down, when you don't hear from someone for a while, reach out and call them. Reach out and touch them so that they know that they matter. Um, and remember, you don't have to be perfect or have it all together to help someone. There is no too little of a light or a too little help or too, um, too much. Um, it's just being mindful and discerning what's needed in the time that it's needed, and being willing to be available and yielded to whatever the call is for today. Is that all right? Okay. Um, and with that, um, I will say this. Remember that you have been entrusted with the light 
that was powerful enough to shift the atmosphere and change the life of someone, as I've said before. Okay? All right, and that's my message. Thank you. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. have reached a moment in um, the service where we can absolutely share our light, uh, the light of giving. And so um, today's offering is going to Unitarian Universalist Action Against Gun Violence. So um, give generously. <laughs> So this concludes the um, service, and um, as you go out here today, may you be blessed. May you allow your light to shine brightly, and may you um, keep your hearts open and your minds open and your eyes open for those who might need a little bit of light for today. Amen. <laughs>